everyone today I'm going to be doing a Black Friday haul and the stuff that I'm going to be showing is things that we mainly got for the house um, I'm going to make a separate video of some of the things that I got for my boyfriend for Christmas but I can't do it right now so that'll be in a separate video so the first place that we went was Kohl's and we got a couple of things there the first thing that we got was this rice cooker and this was I believe after a meal and rebate it's like $12 or so so they only had red I would have preferred black just because most of our appliances are black but since it's not going to be sitting out it doesn't really matter and this is one of them appliances that you know it, it kind of just takes up space and stuff but um we are we make rice a lot and neither of us have really perfected it. It's always just not completely cooked thoroughly because it's always like a little bit like hard or something. It just, we fail at making rice. So we got one of these, so hopefully that'll help us out. Um, haven't used it yet, so um, I can't really tell you how well it works. I looked up reviews of pretty much everything I bought before I bought them just to make sure, you know, that they work well and everything. And it had good reviews, so we bought that. And also at Kohl's, we bought a new knife set. We needed a new one. We had ours for quite a number of years now. I think we got it at Walmart. It was super cheap. And But it's just the knives are dull, dulling, and the scissors in it broke, and it's just, it was turning to garbage. So we got this one at Kohl's. It's by... Chicago Cutlery, and I'm not going to take these out of the box or anything. They already are. They're in the kitchen already, and I didn't want to drag them in the living room. But um, <clears throat> it's a really nice set. Um, it was way more expensive than our previous knives, so I'm hoping they're a little better quality. Um, I think even with the sale, this was still really expensive. Um, so, But it was something that we definitely really needed, so we got that. Mm. I haven't used them yet either. Got to wash everything first and I'll probably use them tonight. So, the last thing we got at Kohl's was some new couch pillows and we picked these out. They're just brown with like a florally kind of design and then the back side is just <clears throat> a dark brown velvet kind of material. So, there's two of them, but um my boyfriend currently is napping on the couch, so he has the other one. And I just dropped it down the stairs. Okay, so, the uh, next place we went was Bed Bath & Beyond, and as soon as we walked in the door, I saw one of these, and I always eye it up whenever I'm at Bed Bath & Beyond, so I decided just to get it since we had like a 20% off coupon. And basically, it's just a dish drying mat, and, um... I wanted the brown one, but they only had it in like the extra large size, and I really only wanted this for when um, I clean our water bottles and stuff of that nature because um, I can't really like stick my hand in them to uh, like thoroughly dry them out, so I, I usually just um, sit them on the countertop like over top of a um, dish towel or something of that nature and just let it air dry, and so I thought maybe this would be, would help them dry a little more easier and, you know, not have, have to use one of my dish towels every time I have to dry um, the water bottles. So I got this and we also need new pots and pans and I currently have KitchenAid brand pots and pans. We got them in like a whole set and they've held up pretty well over the years, but the, um, the coating inside is getting all messed up and it's really um, wreaking havoc on things sometimes when we cook. Like I cannot make pancakes in the one pan anymore because they just get stuck on the bottom and it's just a mess. And then we also have another pot that um, somehow got dented as it was being stored. I don't know if something fell on it while it was inside the cupboard or whatever. but. They're just, I mean, they held up for, you know, a long time, and I plan on keeping, you know, the ones that are still in good condition, but we wanted to start getting rid of the ones that aren't any good and replacing them, and eventually we wanted to get a Calphalon set, 
but they are super expensive so we're trying to start off with just like a couple at a time so yesterday we ended up getting two of the uh, frying pans there's a large one and then a medium sized one and the medium sized KitchenAid that I currently have is the one that's completely messed up and no good anymore so this is definitely something that we needed and um, I mean, if you know the Calphalon brand, they are just incredibly expensive. So I'm hoping that there's a reason for that because I'm hoping that they're really good quality and they hold up for a long time. So that's the start of our collection. And then we also got a um, cover for the larger pan. So next time we go, we'll probably get the lid for the other pan. And we also need like a really big skillet type pan. So that'll probably be our next Calphalon purchase. So also at Bed Bath & Beyond, we've got um, cutting boards. And the cutting board that I have now, I think um, I think we might have gotten it at Walmart, maybe. Either Walmart. It might have been Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know. But it's made of like a plasticky kind of material. Um, I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it's getting all scratched up and it's just... You know, it's one of the things that, you know, after you've had, had a while, it kind of just needs replaced. So, we really liked the look of the bamboo cutting boards. And this one actually comes in a pack of three, which is really nice. There's a large one, a medium size one, and a small one. So that way, you know, when we're not cutting up um, a lot of things, like if we're just cutting, like, a block of cheese or something, then we only need to get out the small one instead of getting out a big cutting board every time. So that's definitely nice that we got those. And I've never had um, bamboo cutting boards before, so I'm hoping that they're fairly easy to clean and maintain. Okay, so we went to Michael's, and my boyfriend got a picture frame for one of his pictures. It just looks like this. And the only other thing that I got there was some Christmas cards. And they look like this. They're just little snowmen. And the envelopes that they're in are really cute. But the one thing that I'm upset about with this is I didn't want to commit. Like, I'm, when I shop for Christmas cards, I like to look around and see, like, what all places have to offer as far as Christmas cards. And... It was like the first time I was looking at Christmas cards and I just kind of bought them and I wish I wouldn't have because I went to TJ Maxx yesterday and they had the most beautiful Christmas cards there that I've ever seen and I wanted to get them and I was going to and then just like use these for like next year but I didn't so next year I'm definitely checking out TJ Maxx first before I buy any Christmas cards because their Christmas cards are really really cute. But anyway, I got those for this year. And we went to Hobby Lobby. This wasn't um, yesterday or anything like that, but I had never showed the two things that I got, so I wanted to show them since it's holiday related. Um, we bought two packs of these ornament, uh, what the hell would you call these? Like ornament hangers. And they're just gold with red uh, gem things. And we always use the decorative hangers for our ornaments. Like, we never just use plain wire hangers. They, they have to have some sort of decoration on them. So we got two packs of these. And I had to get a new thing of um, tart cubes, wax cubes, whatever you want to call them. Um, the Hobby Lobby sells the Sensationals brand, and I absolutely love the Sensationals brand, I think that it throws really well. The fragrance is very, very heavy, but in a good way because they smell amazing. I have a blueberry one, but I wanted this one. It's sugared pecans, and it was very, um, I have one in my warmer, and I've, I've had it lit for numerous, numerous, numerous times, and it's still just one cube, just still, like, can fill up the entire downstairs. Um, but it smells kind of syrupy, um, it's a very warm, nice, uh, holiday scent, so I got that, and let's see, I went to Target, 
specifically for one thing, um, I got my dog one of her Christmas presents. Um, Target has these adorable um, dinner plate dog toy sets. And it's essentially just like um, one, two, three, four, about five toys in here. Um, just stuffed plush toys. They probably have squeakers in them. Hope, I'm hoping they have squeakers in them because she loves squeaker toys. And this was $10. So $10 for five toys. That's not bad. And they are so adorable. Um, they have different ones. They have ones with a duck in them, a chicken, or a turkey. Um, but I picked the lobster because I thought he was the cutest. So it comes with a lobster, it comes with a baked potato, a piece of corn on the cob, a lemon slice, and then there's also like a green t uh, tug rope thing in there too, which I'm not sure what that's supposed to represent, but it's in there. She's not real big on the tuggy rope toys, but she loves squeaky toys, so I think she'll definitely like this. It's a shame I can't fit this in her stocking, though, because she loves digging in her stocking on Christmas, but um, I might open it and, like, wrap everything separately. I haven't decided yet. And then the last place that I went was the Dollar Tree, and I didn't buy anything for myself, like, for myself, um, like, all day yesterday. It was all just, you know, stuff for the house, or it was stuff for my boyfriend, because... Everyone else was, you know, out buying things for me for, like, my birthday or Christmas. So, I didn't buy anything for myself. But I did buy one thing at Dollar Tree because, you know, I couldn't resist. So, at Dollar Tree, I got um, these stickers. And I just thought they were so adorable. And they have um, little dogs and cats on them. I don't know. I hope you can see this. It is clear. So... But anyway, I got these to use as seals for my Christmas cards because while I was looking at the Christmas cards at Michael's, um, some of the Christmas cards came with seals, and then the ones that didn't come with seals had fancy envelopes, and the fancy envelopes ones didn't have seals. And I like to put like a little seal or sticker of some sort on my envelopes to, um, you know, just add a little something to them. So I got these specifically to put on the envelope as a seal. So I got that and I also got these um, gift tag stickers and I thought these were really cute. I had gotten a pack of these last year at Dollar Tree too. And I like using the gift tag stickers um, on the Christmas presents uh, mainly, you know, so we know who belongs to who. And I like the stickers better than the tags. So, and they're usually always you can always find really cute ones. So this one comes with um, 14. So it's basically just this one sheet for a dollar. But the tags are really large. They have a glittery border. And I think they're really cute. So I got those. And then the last thing I got at Dollar Tree. And these were for myself. And I thought they were so cute. And they're just uh, little flower hair clips. And they're gray or silver I should say. Um, with sparkly sequins. So I thought they were really cute. I um, actually took one off of the um, I took one off of the cardboard, and I went to the aisle where like the mirrors and stuff are, and I like tried it in my hair just to make sure you know it wouldn't like slide down or anything like that. So and it looked really cute. So I got them. And it looks like something like every time I'm at Dollar Tree and I find cute hair accessories and stuff like that. They always just remind me of something that you'd find in like Forever 21 or something. So I definitely think that they're cute and for a dollar, it's a really good deal. So that's the only thing I really got for myself other than a Starbucks drink. So that is my Black Friday haul. I will be doing a, another haul here shortly of things that um, I bought for my boyfriend for Christmas and things that I have gotten recently through eBay. So hope you guys like the video.